No one ever drives straight in Harare anymore. Navigating these roads means many twists and turns. The city's efforts to try and patch the potholes have failed to keep up with the rate of damage. The smaller roads, they're in a terrible state, which is beyond pothole uh, formation. They've actually, they've reached a stage where they need complete rehabilitation. You cannot patch them anymore. Long-suffering motorists agree. We feel there's no hope. We have seen the potholes get worse and worse. Every time you drive, something gets damaged on the car. We are constantly at the mechanics. Help could be on the way in the form of a multi-million dollar deal with a South African company. Under that deal, the company would upgrade and maintain the roads. It's not yet clear how the city will pay. Officials have declined to comment. But there's been talk the city may set up toll gates. This could be met with resistance, though. The vehicle is the highest taxed element in the, in the country. It's paying Zinara, it's paying fuel, the, the, the charges on fuel. You are, you are also paying the tariffs on, uh, on licensing. So it is, they are going back to, to tax it on the main road and in, in the smaller roads. But how do you do it on the smaller roads? Motorists we spoke to fear toll gate money could be spent elsewhere. Existing toll gates on national highways have generated millions, but many say they are yet to see any improvement. Where is the money from the existing toll gates going? Now they want to tell us that if they put also toll gates in, our, in, in the city centers, they'll <laughs> repair the roads. We have got to satisfy their first. Harare's former mayor says if the council is to win over the public, it must first deliver before it can start to demand more taxes. Motorists here have had to exhibit extreme patience to get around some of the streets in Harare. But their patience could soon pay off as the city vows to fix and repair these roads. It will come at a cost though. However, many here, and in particular the motoring public, will have no qualms if indeed the funds they are paying will go towards the intended use. Farai Makutuya on the streets of Harare in Zimbabwe.